In 2013, indie developer Vlambeer announced that their game Wasteland Kings, at the time still in development, had been renamed to Nuclear Throne and would see an early access release in October. An action roguelike game from a top-down perspective, Nuclear Throne has seen updates on a near-weekly basis, with new content, bug fixes, and suggestions from the community, and recently got its full release not only on Steam, but on the PlayStation 3, 4, and PS Vita. The goal of this game? Get through seven worlds and reach the Nuclear Throne itself. Sounds easy, right? And not really. This video will show you the absolute basics of getting started in Nuclear Throne. We'll be playing as the default character, Fish. The basic default controls for the game are W, A, S, and D for movement, while using your mouse to aim your gun. Use the left mouse button or the Z key to fire your gun. There's a lot of weapons in the game, and we'll be going over those in another video. When you find a weapon, press the E key to pick it up. You can only carry two weapons at a time, so picking up a weapon will replace whichever one you currently have selected. When you're holding two weapons, use the space bar to switch between them. And by the way, you're gonna want to keep an eye on your ammo counter up here. That's important. Finally, use the right mouse button or X to use your character's special ability. For example, Fish can roll. This gives him a short burst of speed, like a dash, in whatever direction he is moving. Each character has their own unique special ability, as well as a passive ability, which we will be covering in another video. As you can see, the controls of Nuclear Throne are fairly simple. It is figuring out how to put everything together at the right time that is the tricky part. But the more runs you do, the more natural it'll become. As far as basics go, however, we still have a little more to cover. Specifically, items, and what the hell you're actually doing in this game. The goal of each level is to destroy every single enemy in front of you. Once you have taken out all the enemies in each level, a portal will appear. Just jump on into this portal and it'll teleport you to the next level. Of course, doing that is a lot easier said than done, so you're gonna want to pick up some items along the way to help you on your quest. Every level will spawn an ammo crate. Run into it to pick up ammo for your primary weapon. That is, the weapon you currently have selected. If that ammo is full, you will get ammo randomly from another type of weapon. There are five ammo types in the game. Bullets. Shells. Crossbow bolts. Energy. And explosives. There's also melee in the game, but you won't be picking up much ammo for those. Each level also contains a weapon crate. Run into it to open it up to get whatever weapons inside. It should be noted that the further on you get in the game, the better weapons you're gonna find inside these crates. When you kill an enemy, you may notice they drop a sort of green cylinder. This is radiation, or rads, and they act as your experience for the game. Each level also contains a radiation canister, which is worth 25 rads. Get enough rads and you'll level up. If you enter a stage-ending portal after leveling up, you'll be given a choice of four mutations, of which you can select one. Mutations will either help you or hurt your enemies, but choose wisely. The game will randomly select four of the 29 possible mutations, and you can only select one of the four for each level up. All the mutations and their effects will be covered in a separate video. In addition to rads, enemies will also occasionally drop ammo packs, which will give you ammo for your primary or secondary weapon. Enemies would also occasionally drop health packs to restore 2 HP. They will only drop them if you are damaged. It should be noted, by the way, the game actually balances itself based on what ammo you have. For example, if you're low on ammo, the game will actually give you more drops. Well, as far as getting started goes, that's about it. Again, there's a lot of intricacies to this game that we'll be going over in other videos, but as far as just getting started, you now have everything you need to begin your quest to the Nuclear Throne. So get out there, start shooting, start killing enemies, and blast your way to the end. Ah, shit. 
Thank you very much for watching. You can expect to see more videos in the Nuclear Throne tutorial series in the future, covering characters, weapons, stages, mutations, and much, much more. Feel free to subscribe if you'd like to see more. You can also follow me on Twitter to get updates on the videos, and if you'd like to see live Nuclear Throne content, as well as other games, feel free to check out my Twitch channel. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.